The Japanese Environment Ministry has revised its plan to clear away radioactive substances from the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. It announced details on Monday at a meeting of nuclear experts. Ministry officials say they will decontaminate areas where radiation levels are higher than one millisievert per year. The ministry had planned only to decontaminate places with levels above five millisieverts per year. But municipalities in Fukushima Prefecture with readings below 5 millisieverts argue to be included in the cleanup. The government will be responsible for the decontamination of no entry zones and government designated evacuation zones. Local governments will clean up all other affected areas. The revised plan prioritizes areas with radiation levels higher than 20 millisieverts per year. In areas with less than 20 millisieverts per year, radiation will be reduced by up to 60 percent over the next two years. Environment Ministry officials say the government will help prefectures that have a massive amount of radioactive waste. The government will discuss the ministry's decontamination plan further before the cabinet formally adopts it. The Japanese government promises to carry out decontamination, but it hasn't done anything. I want the government to begin quickly so it will be safe for my children and grandchildren. A detailed decontamination policy has been announced today, but realistically, I think it will be difficult unless we work very hard. We have to put maximum effort into addressing the issue. The operator of the troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says the level of hydrogen in a pipe at the number one reactor has become low enough to make an explosion unlikely. They are also working to install a device to filter radioactive substances inside the containment vessel. Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, last month found the hydrogen levels inside a pipe connected to the reactor's containment vessel comprised over 60 percent of the total gas present, posing a risk of explosion. The utility had been injecting nitrogen into the pipe to remove hydrogen since Saturday. TEPCO says the hydrogen level is now low, and even if it were to rise again, it would not exceed 4 percent, the lowest level that poses a risk of explosion. On Sunday evening, TEPCO cut two points of the pipe to allow the installation of a device that filters radioactive substances inside the containment vessel. The cutting operation was about two weeks behind the schedule the company set for its plan to contain the nuclear accident at the plant. A team of radiation experts from the International Atomic Energy Agency has visited Minami Soma City in Fukushima Prefecture to inspect efforts there to remove radioactive materials. The 12-member team has been in Japan since Friday at the request of the country's environment minister to offer advice on ways to effectively clear away radioactive substances. On Sunday, the IAEA experts visited a facility in Minami Soma City where the government is carrying out decontamination work as a model for other areas. The effects of decontamination on buildings, roads and forests are being studied at the 30,000 square meter facility. The visitors asked questions about the area being cleaned and wanted to know what measures were being taken to protect workers. Japanese experts said fertile soil was being placed in the forest where contaminated soil had been removed. The IAEA members supported the measure. We are visiting very interesting places. We have uh, to analyze all the information they are providing to us, which is a lot. I, think that I hope the latest technologies will be used to decontaminate the area to make it a safe place for children. The IAEA team will visit two other municipalities in Fukushima Prefecture on Monday to inspect an elementary school and some farmland that have been decontaminated. A new NHK survey suggests nearly 60 percent of the prefectures and municipalities in Japan that have nuclear plants say restarting idle reactors depends on local consent. Less than 20 percent say they will prioritize the results of the government's stress tests on reactors. Twenty-nine prefectures and their municipalities sent NHK survey responses at the end of September. Fukushima Prefecture wasn't included 
That's where the damaged Fukushima Daiichi plant is located. In July, the government ordered stress tests on all the country's nuclear facilities to make sure they can withstand major earthquakes and tsunami. 41% approved, 14% disapproved, and 45% were undecided. Even among those that approved, many said the government abruptly introduced the tests and didn't properly explain them. The prefectures and municipalities answered multiple choice questions on the factors they consider important in deciding to restart reactors. 59% cited local consent. 45% said explanations from the government. Only 17% cited the results of the stress tests as important. About 80% of Japan's 54 reactors are out of service right now. The country is expected to face an energy shortage this winter if more reactors don't come back online. Her home is in the highlands, but Katrina Monroe was studying in Minsk, 250 miles away from Chernobyl, when a series of explosions ripped through the nuclear power plant. 25 years later, Katrina has breast cancer. Chernobyl was just a dinner party story for me for 22 years and it wasn't until August 2008 when I was diagnosed with stage 4, that's incurable breast cancer, that the word Chernobyl came back into my life. Doctors have told Katrina it's impossible to establish a direct link between her cancer and the exposure to radioactive fallout she experienced. But Katrina wants to find her fellow students to discover if any others have become ill. The group was drawn from universities across the UK. Chernobyl still lies at the heart of a huge exclusion zone. 2.86. It was over 5. Radiation levels here are extremely high. The accident happened after what should have been a routine safety check went horribly wrong. Only 17% cited the results of the stress tests as important. Unleashing a series of events which culminated in the giant roof above the reactor being blown off, spreading a vast quantity of radioactive material across Europe. For these men who control the country, it was their first public appearance since the nuclear power plant disaster at the weekend. Despite the scale of the disaster, the collapse of the Soviet Union meant no definitive research was ever carried out into the long-term impact of Chernobyl on human health. Now, scientists say that must change. There's the next generation to, to think of. There's some evidence that uh, uh, a kind of mutation has been passed down to future generations, and we don't know what the health consequences of, of this are. So we have to study that as well. That research may be vital, but arguments over funding mean we may never know for sure what impact the Chernobyl disaster had on the health of millions of people across Europe. David Miller, reporting Scotland.給食に出た食べちゃいけないよと言ってそれで子供が学校に行ってそれを取り分けると先生が来てクエッって食わせるんだそうです。ゾッとするんじゃないですか皆さん。え、こんなこと今起こってるんですよ日本で。え、どうする